Is there any law lecture here? There's no law lecture here. Well, I'm sure many of you may wonder why it is raining today of all days. If this is the first time you're in conference, Sabini, well, just in case you do not know, the name Sabini actually means rain god. I met this man some 15 years or so ago. I've had a number of events with him, and I can tell you on authority that there has not been a single day that he's performing anywhere and it's not raining. This is not a lie. He's right here, you can ask him. So I wasn't surprised when I woke up this morning, looked out my window, and clearly the skies were wet. That is because a couple of weeks ago, as I did indicate earlier, to have some very, very, very great people among us. And um, our staff, for some eyes and culture, our brother and friend, a man the very, very, very beginning. In fact, they've always been there for each other. And though this notice of the came to him quite late, he said, ah, if it's Sabini, I'll have to be here. And indeed, he is here. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Makutri Kumanti. We have a family. You know, um, and before we get there, there are still a few more people that we will acknowledge. Um, we also have among us Professor Martin Morgan Tulip, who is the Deputy Rector. Prof, please give us a wave. Thank you very much. Prof is here. And um, I think at this point, before we even get into the commission proper, we would like to invite Prof to give us a few words. Prof, or is it too early? It's too early. Okay, let us hold on then. Then, let us get into it. Yepa SRC has a CJ. So at this point, I'd like to invite the CJ to just come take over the microphone and then we see if we can get this even going already. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
terms of the SRC constitution. And suffer the penalty thereof. And suffer the penalty thereof. So help me go. So help me go. Let's give her a hand. Solemnly swear. I further solemnly swear that should I at any time, that should I at any time break this my oath of 
that shall at any time break this oath of office. Break this oath of office. I shall submit to the penalty prescribed by the SRC Constitution. I shall submit to the penalty prescribed by the SRC Constitution. So long be it. So long be it. Opposed? the 
Dean of Students for giving us the platform to nurture and gain practical leadership skills and experience as students preparing to contribute our quota to the national development. Secondly, there are a few names I would like to mention. Nathaniel Kotime, aka Kokotemi, for inspiring me to enroll in this, in this great institution. And of course, just to inform the president of our Gimpa Students Business School for inspiring me to go for the very powerful experience. Um, my task today is simple. I have just been sworn in as president of the Formula Bowl Gimpa SRC. The responsibility I have accepted to undertake. I make this speech today to signify my acceptance of the responsibility and the rare opportunity to serve the students of Lima as their SRC president. While I am well aware of the task ahead, I am confident that I will draw on the experience of the former presidents and executives who have occupied this office I have just been sworn into. I understand from research that students have significantly evolved. More importantly, the needs of students are also evolved. What I pledge to do in, this, in the best of my interest, in what I pledge to do in the best of interest of students as far as present is to be sensitive towards the issue of towards the issue that confronts students, being with the appropriate offices to ensure that these issues are addressed in the best possible ways. Adopt policies that will complement the institutional efforts at providing the Gimba student with the most memorable, worthwhile learning experience. On our relationship with external bodies, sister, sister universities and institutions of higher learning, we shall continue to engage and be part of the external student body and make sure that Gimba is well represented outside the four walls of the Green Hill campus. I intend to work closely to alumni present and develop a mutually beneficial relationship between alumni and current students that centers on delivering the best of opportunities for being part of the students. Ladies and gentlemen, on a working day like this, I do not intend to keep you here with a long speech. I have just been taking I have just taken office and in due course I shall be engaging you on the policies and administration, on the policies my administration will be adopting and implementing in the fulfillment of our oath to you and our fidelity to the SRC institution. I would like to end here, I would like to end my speech by reminding you that the highest office of the SRC it's not the office of the president. The highest office of the SRC is the student. The student who voted for me to come and serve him or her in the capacity of a president. With this in mind, I pledge my full efforts and will to the best interests of the Lima community. To quote the former British Prime Minister Gordon Brown, I shall do my utmost. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to be part of this administration by bringing on your ideas, your resources, your support as we work together to make my SRC great. Notwithstanding my entertainment background, which all seek to bring out and measure talent, my commitment remains to focus on the student community and addressing the pertinent issues affecting the students. I will leave this platform by assuring you that I will leave an SRC that is responsible and accountable, an SRC that shows working, an SRC that listens and cares, an SRC that unifies, an SRC for you and I. These you should trust that Samini shall surely deliver. Long live Green Park, long live SRC. Thank you. Thank you very much, Africa, ladies and gentlemen.
not. And so, um, I won't finish that. I'm a student of Nepal as well. And I'm surprised my people choose a president who puts on earrings and sunglasses. <laughs> Charlie, um, how does it feel? How does it feel right now? Like after the whole official ceremony, how does it feel? Because you know? my experience in my career, after after we serve people on stage, what we are used to is things being done for us every day. Things being done for us. When I started school, I came back into school again. I realized that I had to now reaccustom myself with doing things for myself, getting my assignments done, preparing for the next class, juggling class and music, and making sure I, I get things done. I believe it's a discipline that anybody that has time and the energy should be able to go through at a point in your life, so that it sets you apart from the regular people. How would this change I mean? Well, it's, it's, it's only made me sharper in terms of um, um, you know, bureaucracy and also uh, in, in, in my comments and uh, business decision making. Uh, it's, it's, it's really upgraded me. It's brought my mind to speak with the current ways of doing things in the business space. Because I'm from the business background from high school and I came back into business school to do my university. So I didn't veer too much away from what I know from high school. So it's a chance for me to get my business mind sharper and then of course if I finish and I'm able I'll do my law which is a dream for us. Okay, okay. Well, what does affect your music career in any way? No, I don't think so. I, I've, been doing, I've been doing school for the past three years. I'm in my final year and people just learn that I'm in the best because of one or two things happening and then of course the fact that we hyped um, the elections. So that should tell you how I've been able to juggle it. And the fact that I didn't want too much pressure, so I kept the school on a low till I actually got you know, way ahead of myself. Yeah. Okay. Is this like um, the road to your political career? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't emphasize that, or I wouldn't say emphatically that this is 
a deliberate approach. If there's any deliberacy in here, it's more of me deliberately trying to sharpen my mind to be prepared for current ways of doing things in the business world. And of course, to be able to approach the political space with a very sharp mind. Yeah. So any message for your fans, anybody who likes some Yo, fans out there, people out there, thanks for the support for all these years. It's been 20 years at counting and it looks like we're just starting. What I'll say is that if you have something at the moment, um, ladies and gentlemen, do it now. Pictures are going on. Let's not forget. We should we should still take our seats because there's Thank a you. Thank you. So what's the immediate so, that's is my response. Welfare of students across the entire Campus. We have our own campus and then we have the satellite campus. But then all together we are one unified institute uh, and I am going to see with that problems affecting students that need to be led by the um, school authorities, vice versa, being you know dancing. Okay, you are the first in South Africa to have a good to be here. Okay. So, um, what the reason why I decided to do this was because I realized that SRC in the school didn't have as much, uh, as much, uh, you know, enthusiasm for the students, but they didn't care about SRC activities. So I thought, if I get to be the people's person to take charge of this, yes, I'll bring attention to the, uh, the Council, uh, and then of the course, the activities are in the pool. It's enough for me to ask you to come out. It's a beautiful environment. As an artist, I'm not saying that I'm an artist. 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 Former Gimpa SRC presidents are here to support me. Okay. And you have former SRC president, you have Gimpom, TR, another president, another vice president, another president. This is the one who just handed over to Samini. Okay. And the treasurer. Okay. All of us are here to support Samini. <laughs> so, <laughs> any message for Samini and his new position? We are we are all behind him. We are hoping that, um, like Honorable Mark Kofi said, it's one thing that I tell all of them: don't just come and hold a position, come and make a difference. And I know Samini, and because of his leadership. A lot of things will change and Gimpa will rise up to the next level that we want to come to. Thank you. Thank you. 